I set to work creating the blanket. I'd ordered it sort of early January, February. And my nephew was due in May. And I set to it, made the blanket, and I had it all put together. And then two weeks before he was due, I just knew I didn't like it. So having made an entire baby blanket, I then took it apart. Good morning team. Welcome back to HGDC, HD Designs Crochet. Today I have got a reveal. I've finished my nephew's blanket. Wanna see? I'm going to gift this later today. And of course I needed to show you before it goes. I spent a couple of hours last night doing the finishing touches. I always know the finishing touches take the longest and it, it kind of puts me off because it's not crochet, you know? But it's done and it's in here. I order these magnetic boxes and then I have my logo custom printed and I will place links below for the boxes. I will also link below the small business that I get my vinyl from and then I apply it to the box. The boxes come flat packed so I, it's got like sticky tabs in the corner so you build the box so to speak and then I put the vinyl on and then inside is the blanket. Let me talk to you about the yarn because it was kindly gifted to me. We'll talk about the pattern and then I could do the big reveal. This yarn is the Create Double Knit by the Yarnsmith line. It is the Wool Warehouse's own brand. And it's my first time working with it and this yarn was also gifted to me. The lovely people at Yarnsmith reached out and said they would be happy to send me some yarn. Did I have any projects in mind? And I knew I wanted to make my nephew's blanket and I said, would they mind providing the yarn for that. My brother's girlfriend came round and picked out all of the yarn using my yarn pegs, which are created by Eliza and the Giraffe. Again, I will link below. <laughs> Before I open this, two things. I want to say thank you to my testers, my testy besties who arranged this for me as a um, secret Christmas gift. Is it a Christmas gift? Gosh, the time has flown so quickly. This arrived when I was in a bit of a hole and to come home, I'd had a really, really tough day with personal life things. And I came home and this was waiting for me and it, ma it made me cry, but in a happy way. So thank you so, so much to my testy besties for arranging this. The other thing I will say is that when they came, they were all neatly lined up, wrapped in the tissue paper, and they were beautiful. Since then, my toddler tornado has been through this numerous times. So the presentation, current presentation is all on me. <laughs> all on me. Here are my yarn pegs. And my brother's girlfriend went through and picked out the colours that she wanted to have in her blanket, two of which are here. And see if I can pick the others. She picked out the colors that she wanted. I emailed um, Yarnsmith's Wool Warehouse and then a huge bag of yarn arrived. The colors that she picked are linen. And I believe that was the joining color. So she went with linen, which is 3061 oatmeal which is a very close in shade but a bit warmer and slightly more on the brown side and that is 3064 and then she also went with latte so we're going up the brown here please excuse my chipped nails 
YouTuber fail. <laughs> she also went with Brown Bear, which I was really pleased about because as you all know, my son is called Teddy. So I like the fact that his cousin was going to receive something with like the bear reference. And then she wanted sky blue in there, just a pop of blue. Um, Latte is 3069, brown bear is 3070, and sky blue is 3260. And I will be sure to put some close-ups of those in for you. So then the huge bag of yarn arrived and it looked like this. These are the colours. I really, really, really like this yarn and I would definitely be purchasing more and I would definitely be asking to work with Wool Warehouse more on this yarn. It is really nice to work with. It doesn't squeak. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how important that is to other people, but to me, it's really important. It doesn't squeak. Some yarns I feel have like a coating on them. This one doesn't. It feels really soft. It didn't have any dodgy odors. Like it just smells, it doesn't really have an odor. It's just pleasant. And there are so many colors. Look at all of these colors. There's so many. Imagine having one color of each to create like the granny square blanket of dreams. I would absolutely love to purchase one of every single color. And I have seen on Instagram, somebody did do that. They purchased one of every single one and laid it out. And I was like, that is a granny square bliss. Like I've said to you previously that I would like to book a hotel room and have like a night to myself. And I'd love to do like a Airbnb crochet chat as well, where we all just meet up. Imagine being able to take every single color with me and just being like, runny squares ah! <laughs> what else do I want to say about the yarn there was no knots in the yarn I'm not sure how professional this review is but these are my true personal opinions there are no knots in the yarn it really really winds me up when you get balls of yarn and they've just got knots throughout them I didn't find one single knot and I used up quite a lot of the yarn the other great thing about the yarn is it's not too stretchy. I have worked with double knit yarn where I feel like it had so much stretch and then it didn't really hold its shape once finished. This does not have that issue, honestly. It's just a really good all round yarn and I will be working with them again. Whether, don't, what are you doing to my pegs? Is it in your space? Sorry mate, let me just move them out your way. <laughs> Goodness me! What was I saying before Albie got the grumps? I will definitely be working with this yarn again. Really, really like it. And I have used a lot of yarn. Thank you so much, Wool Warehouse, for sending this yarn to me. It is a delight. Patim, I wanted to make a version of my own pattern, my arrival blanket, and I have the original here. This is my arrival pattern. It's a baby blanket. It is 11 by 13 squares. They are two round granny squares joined on the third round using continuous join as you go. And then it has my signature border on it where I use all of the colors included in the blanket and it just brings it all together. And then the final round is the joining color. I'm not one for big borders. I like it to be simple, fuss free. Granny squares is the main thing for me. So everything else just needs to be quick and just get me back to the granny squares basically. I use double knit acrylic yarn on this blanket as well. This blanket has been through the wash, the washing machine numerous times and it still looks cute, doesn't it? At the time of making it, I didn't really have the budget to purchase other yarn and I would love to make one in this yarn. This was all scrap yarn. I need to do a repair there and then just a convenient and easy joining colour and 
Honestly, it's like this blanket is so special to Teddy. He will very proudly say that it's Mama's crochet and that it's Teddy's blanket. He will ask for his blanket when he wants to be snuggled up. He's two now, he's 27 months and he's gone through two winters and he always has this in his pram with him. He likes to have it on him at night when he's sleeping. Like it goes in his car seat with him. He spent so many hours wrapped up in this. It's a very, very special and precious blanket and pattern. And not only did I make this one for Teddy, when whilst I was pregnant and whilst Teddy was quite young, I also made a, I think I've made this blanket five or six times, basically. Most recently, I made a all pink one for one of, it would be Teddy's cousin's cousin. I don't even know how to explain that one. Basically, my brother's girlfriend, her siblings were having children around the time that I was. So I made two of her nieces the blanket. One had a yellow one, one had a pink one. And then another niece was on the way. And then my brother's girlfriend asked me to make a pink version for her niece, Goldie Bloom. And that was pink and it was just gorgeous. And I really, really enjoyed making that one. And then of course, Carter was on his way. And I said that I would make their blanket. This is my first time making a blanket where I've not picked the yarn and it's my first time where I've been given like a brief and these colours are not my usual go-to colours as you can see like I like all the colours more is more and this was very much um, beige mum vibe and I did struggle with that at first so I jumped in I made the blanket and then I it was like two weeks before Carter was due to arrive and the blanket was done. I would just need to weave the ends in and it just wasn't sitting right. I don't like it and I keep looking at it. I've not liked it for weeks. And then I was like, I'm on a tight deadline. I'm just gonna persevere and get it done. But no, I don't like it and it's going to my nephew, so no. Um, I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna take out the dark brown. Um, eventually I'll show her this footage and be like, the blanket was done weeks ago, but I just can't get behind it. And if I can't back, if I can't back myself, then I can't gift it. And I want it to be like spot on, it's my nephew. So, uh, I'm gonna redo it, take out a load of the darker browns and put a lot more neutral in. I'm gonna make myself a little sample now. I just need to do it and get it done. It's got the potential to look really cute. I knew it wasn't right. I knew I couldn't gift it and be proud of it. It wasn't how I wanted it to look in my mind. So I ripped the entire thing down about two or so days before or after he arrived and I started again and I did really have an internal battle because I was like um if I start this again they're not going to get it for some time because I have all of my own crochet deadline stuff coming up and also redoing it means that with the yarn that I was sent I'm probably not going to have enough to make the matching cardigan so here we are now, all the way in September. And yeah, the guilt had started to get to me now. I really wanna get this done and to them so they can enjoy it, especially now the weather has changed. I want my nephew to have his blanket. So are you ready to see it? This is Carter's blanket. Okay, in three, two, one. What do you think? This is Carter's blanket. He's Carter with a K. My brother also has a name that begins with K. 
So they're carrying that on. They've got the Rim Kardashian clan on the go. I went with the linen throughout and then I put very tiny pops of colour as you can see and there are 12 pops of colour and then one of the rows is completely blank for his name. Can you see? We've got the blue, we've got the oatmeal and the browns and then I didn't put the so that the brown bear of the name would pop I didn't include it in the blanket colors so I've put latte in there but brown bear was not one of the ones to feature I also didn't put it in the border which isn't usual for me but again I just wanted the name to really stand out and I used a alphabet pattern to do the name and I will link that below since I have discovered it I just want to cover everything with names, absolutely everything. So I crochet the name and then I steam block it and then I actually use a glue gun to put it on. I found previously that trying to sew it on didn't really work well. With it being granny squares, you don't have like a consistent fabric behind where the holes are in the granny squares. It meant that you couldn't quite stitch it on and it just looked awful and as long as you don't wash it on a wash that's too high the glue won't come undone so that is how I attach the name. What do you think? I've also made some matching dummy clips. I've made them really really short Obviously, this could be a choke risk. I've made two matching dummy clips. I did latte and I did brown bear. So you put the dummy through the loop and then you clip it onto whatever outfit or the blanket that the child has around them. And I've made them really short because my nephew is only like three, four months old and he's diddy as well. I didn't want there to be any choke issue whereas on the ones I make for Teddy I make them a bit longer because obviously he's much older now so they match the blanket as I said I used up quite a lot of the yarn making the original the first version and then because pretty much every single granny square in this blanket is out of the joining colour. I don't believe I'll have enough to make the cardigan and if I'm honest if they need to wait for the cardigan from me it's now going to be nearer Christmas because of all of my own deadlines. I had that window at the start of the year to get it done and then obviously I changed my mind on how I wanted it to look but having said that I know they've had to wait but I am glad that I remade it because this is beautiful and I know it will fit in with their aesthetic, the little outfits that I've seen him wearing and the accessories that they've picked for themselves. So what do you think? What do you think to Carter's blanket? And can you believe that these are the same blanket as just different colour choices? Which is why when you have access to a yarn line that has so many shades, the possibilities truly are endless. I just want to say one more huge thank you to Yarnsmith for sending this yarn so that I could make my nephew's blanket. And a huge thank you to you for watching this video. Let me know what you think to the blanket below and also let me know if you've used this yarn before. Okay then, take care.